Hi, how are you? Hope you're having a wonderful day and a good week so far. My name's Shaban. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching uh, all the videos through. It's lovely to be here with you and I feel that this one is ever so slightly emotional. Um, I couldn't believe it on Monday. Uh, I was working up at Old Trafford when the announcement came up on Sky Sports News um, about Ellen White announcing her retirement and then it was two in two days another legend hangs up the boots once and for all and that's Jill Scott MBE so much to say about both of these players um, and going through their their statements their farewells their goodbye football uh, notes is just actually quite like makes me want to cry a little bit maybe I'm feeling a little bit emotional but that's a story for another time um, yes Ellen White and Jill Scott what a way to go out you know there are there are two key players in that England side, in fact three, um, if you think about it without Steph Houghton being there, um, talking about the side that just won the European Cup, and that was Lucy Bronze, Ellen White and Jill Scott, because of the the experience they've got at that level in women's football and, and have done for quite some time and how many, you know, major tournaments they've played at as well. Um, but also what they've done for women's football throughout their careers, you know, from where they've come from to the stories that they have, you know, young girls nowadays will never really have that fight the way they had that fight um, in terms of leaving football in the better place that they that they came into it. They've, they've more for sure done that job uh, as they announced their retirement. Let's start with uh, Ellen White. What a striker. She's the best that England have ever produced so far. The all-time top goal scorer for England. Um, and the second highest all-time top goal scorer in the Women's Super League as well. 59 goals just behind Viviana Miedema, who's up in the 70s and another level. Um, but yeah, Ellen White, I mean, she's such a iconic player and how she changed the game and how she you know puts them in the back of the net she always delivers um and we've watched that for so many years I actually remember watching her in the Conti Cup final would that be March um Manchester City against Chelsea and I remember thinking what a game she'd had um and she scored that day as well and just that that's what she does you know and it feels like now at the age of 33 she's still got so much more uh, to give and when initially the announcement came up I, I instantly thought oh England so she's not going to go to the World Cup next year in New Zealand and Australia but the fact that it's club football as well I think oh my gosh where's this come from but I suppose you look and go well, what a time to go you know what a time to actually bow out as a European champion and everything that she's done for the sport as well um, absolutely outstanding three time player of the year uh, she got 113 caps, 52 goals for England. Um, and of course, she's been to three Euros and three World Cups as well for England and saved the very, very best till last as well. Um, she won two league titles with Arsenal and two FA Cups with Arsenal. And then, of course, when she went to City, she won an FA Cup and a League Cup with them as well. So she's got such a decorated um, cabinet, I suppose, and so many medals. And I guess now she can look and go, it's time. It's time for me to bow out. I've got some of her um, post here, actually, that still makes me want to cry. I need to please tell me to get a grip, get a grip. Somebody slap me. It has been my greatest honour and privilege to play this game in particular. Playing for England has always been the greatest gift. My dreams came true on the 31st of July, winning the Euros and becoming a European Championship. Uh, she thanks all Every staff member that she's ever worked with, all the medical teams who I've ever worked with, they would well know that I go at 100 miles an hour. I'm all or nothing. And I truly appreciate everything you've done for me uh, to get me on the pitch and keep me playing at the highest level for so many years. Uh, this was my favourite bit. She went ov obviously on to thank all of our, our teammates that she's had over the years, all of her family who have constantly supported her, mum and dad. And then she said, to the love of my life, my husband, what do you fancy doing next weekend? I'm pretty free winky face um and i i suppose that that makes you think of all the time now that she's got to always still enjoy football and know that she's left it in the best possible place and can step away and enjoy it now with our loved ones you know not to be part of it and um, thanks to our agent as well as one of a kind and done everything for her over those years so farewell ellen white had we had known um the, the Euros at Wembley would have been the last time we'd have seen her and Jill Scott play. I'm sure the send-off would have been even greater. That's for sure. She said, finally, let's use the momentum of the Euros win to make sure that every young person in all communities has the opportunity to play and feel connected to all England football teams. Enjoy every moment. Thank you, football. All my love, Ellen. Um, the amount of people who we've been speaking to 
who I've been speaking to across the Euros who speaks so highly of Ellen White. It doesn't feel like anyone can ever say a bad word about her. Um, and I'm sorry that she's um, she's stepping down. It felt like she still had a lot more to give, but you absolutely respect why she's making this decision. Um, and fair play to her. You know, she did a lot. She's done a lot for football, as has this young lady, Jill Scott, MBE, um, from Sunderland, ball-winning midfielder. She has been accredited for so many years, you know, one of the players to watch from such a young age and still delivers. And she was on loan just at the end of last season at Aston Villa um, and my sister plays there. And I remember when Jill Scott came in in that Christmas and, it, sorry, that January window and, and I was like, what's Jill Scott like? Uh, to my sister and she's like, she's some laugh. And I never actually had her down as the funny guy. Um, but she said like, she's just so funny and such a good person. You know, again, somebody who just seems to like light up a room um, and make everybody feel good. 111 games for Manchester City, 19 goals, 161 caps for England and 27 goals as well, 161 caps. Uh, she won the WSL and she won four FA Cups and of course bowed out as European champion as well. Um, and that's what's special and what the both women are saying they get to retire as a European champion and it just feels like the right thing to do um, a decent business woman as well she's of course got her coffee business box to box um, and just so much love and admiration from so many fans towards Jill Scott because she is that personality that everyone knows and loves um, I was working at Talksport a couple of weeks ago and sure enough I, I looked through the window and I was like that's Jill Scott and she is a unit in real life, such a tall presence girl, nicknamed Crouchy. Um, and I, I, I went out into the corridor, I was like, Jill, I'm, I'm Rusha's sister. And she went, oh, come on, we'll get a picture and um, we'll, we'll wind Rusha up. And um, I said to her then, I said, what are you doing? What's your plan? Are, are you going to go to Villa next season? She went, oh, I'm, we're not sure yet. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We've still got a little bit of time. And um, then when it came out yesterday that she was retiring, I thought, no way. I thought possibly we would still see her at Aston Villa next season. I was really excited for the team that that was becoming, thinking that Jill Scott was absolutely going to go there. Uh, but again, completely respect this decision. Um, and she put up an amazing post on Instagram. I knew deep in my heart that this was it. So many memories came back to me. I thought about from Sunderland, all the sprints I'd done wall to wall, 10 metres at a time. I thought about showing up to my first England cap with moulds instead of studs. You're going back. Uh, I thought about the unbelievable, unbelievable support all my family have given me over these years. How my granny would be telling the painter or the gardener or anyone who stopped by the house, you know my granddaughter plays for England. Um, my niece and nephews got to watch that Auntie Jill go out as a champion. Thought about all those moments with the girls in hotels, changing rooms and minibuses over the years. These are the little things that I'll miss the most. It's time for Jill Scott to retire. Um, again, just a really nice post and going through her article there. She has been through it all. She's seen absolutely everything. And there's still so much to go in the women's game. And that's what I think will they'll be so missed because they've been part of it through the very beginning. You know, they've led the way for quite some time and they've changed that that landscape for, for women and young girls playing football. It's almost a little bit sad, um, but no tears. It's all happiness is what the women are saying as well. But um, I just wanted to show my respect to, to what they've offered to women's football. And um, it's a shame that we won't see them playing in the league and then playing at the World Cup next year. I mean, don't get me wrong. As a Scots woman, I'm hoping Scotland and Republic of Ireland are going to qualify for the World Cup. Ellen White and Jill Scott being out of the team's a good thing. <laughs> uh, unlucky for England of course and you look at the young potential that have come in, that are coming through there and what they were able to achieve in the summer um, and Ellen White you know there was times where people were saying you've got to start you know Alessio Russo or Beth Mead in that position etc and, and, and actually Ellen White ground out those results every single game she just ground them down and worked so hard and the work that she does on and off the ball is incomparable and the reason that they were crowned European champions is massively down to the contribution that Ellen White gave to every single game and then getting to see Jill Scott come on and just be this wondrous human being on the pitch who can instantly change a game I mean instantly change a game um, and to see her be part of that moment with Chloe Kelly the, 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 the second goal being scored you know that picture is an iconic moment with Chloe Kelly taking the top off and Jill Scott's behind her um, both Absolute monsters of women's football bowing out with so many accolades between them. Fair enough, women. Respect you. Jill Scott and Ellen White saying goodbye to football. <laughs>